why are we here in Los Angeles? Mark has made a video, you probably saw it, in which he bent the iPhone 6 sapphire glass. Bent it, scratched it. Overall, he gave it a bad time, you know? He did, he did fail to do one thing, which I let him know about. So I did the obvious thing, which is call up Joe Rogan, because that's, you know, the arrow guy, as far as I know. I'm gonna blow right through that. I done. He's got that crazy bow, which you gotta go check out. So I called him up and said, iPhone 6, sapphire glass, supposed to be strong. How about your bow and arrow and a high-speed camera? And the rest is history. DM over here, Hank Google Hangout over here, Mr. LA over here. I get a DM from Lou. Marquez is coming down. Austin's coming down. Joe Rogan's involved. Arrows are involved. And a slow motion camera. Are you in? You can't turn down Joe Rogan slow-mo and an iPhone 6 display. Now we're here, I guess, to the second video where we put it through quite a bit more than it's ever been through and ended up, well, so I did some, some, some sandpaper tests to try to see if I could scratch it uh, with some harder materials because the knife just wasn't doing it. And then we ended up here uh, with the arrows. So we went over to Joe Rogan's studio where he records the podcast. Great podcast, my favorite podcast. Check out the podcast. And in the back behind the recording section, he's got a little makeshift archery range, essentially. A short one, but enough space for us to, you know, do our business. So he shows up, rolls up in the back, SUV, couple of huge cases, cracks them open, compound bows everywhere. Oh, oh this is the 80 pound one gnarly looking machines you saw them absolutely unbelievable so we're admiring these things he's telling us about carbon fiber arrows that are gonna blow this thing apart i mean he never doubted for a second that that sapphire display didn't have a chance doubt wasn't there i hoped just for the sake of having something fun i just wanted to visualize it going Ding! Obviously, it was gonna puncture it when he first fired it just at the target with nothing there And I saw the speed at, at where it went into it. It was obvious that No screen or phone or anything that we put there is gonna stay in place. So I was not surprised That thing could cut through a tree And a bear <laughs> I don't know <laughs> You weren't there. What I heard. We have more cameras than people to run cameras. You know what I'm saying? None of us had ever used an FS 700. You good? Well, we're driving to Pasadena, and we don't know where we're picking it up from. We get out there, and the kids are awesome. Very welcoming. Kind of took some notes, and then we figured it out on the way back on the car ride. Get people running around. This one's recording. That one's recording. 96 FPS, 240 FPS, 960 FPS. What FPS were we not running? That's a better question. My favorite shot's the wide GH4. 96 is not as fast, but you capture the experience. We're taking all these shots, we're pumping everything up, we shoot the dummy. DIY iPhone 6 dock. <laughs> yeah, well. Smell, yeah. It smells burning. Yeah. <laughs> it's from the, the friction. We're, that was right through the same hole. Okay, let's use the real deal now. We have the sapphire glass. We're going to uh, tape it over top of the target here. Hopefully that holds. Bullseye. All you have is the portion that was protected by the tape holding it together. Look at that. And pretty good actors. And you can nail this. Definitely. Yeah. Alright. Further proof. Next phone. iPhones don't mean <laughs> shit out here in the range. Out here in the real world. <laughs> <laughs>